Aquarius, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for November 30th through December 6th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see. So the overall energy for the reading, the Hierophant, this could be talking about a marriage, a uh, long-term commitment. To me personally, I like to look at it and it has that significance also of um, spiritual learning, teaching, growth um, can come with that, the Hierophant, but we'll see when we clarify. I do see a commitment here at stake though. In the recent past, you get the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Four of Wands, that kind of card uh, of commitment, of bond, right, between two people. I do see here a person that you're uh, looking at and you're considering the most beautiful, the most charming, the most everything that can possibly be. Um, there's action, there's passion coming in towards this person from you. Things are looking pretty good there for now. Um, in the current situation, you get the Justice, the King of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles, for some reason, I keep my cards upright, and for some reason, this was upside down. Uh, which could be telling me that you may be in that energy of um, assertiveness. You know, determination to bring a situation out of... Um, something that looks to be over, something that looks to be dead. You're trying to bring it back. Um, now the King of Swords is you, that's why I'm saying you. Roles can be reversed, so it could be the other person taking this action towards you. Um, but yeah, trying to clarify things, trying to uh, balance things out in a situation. In the immediate future, you get the Temperance card, the Hangman, the Ten of Swords. Again, that sense of defeat, that sense of, it's like... In the current situation, you're coming in with this energy of, I'm really going to get this done. And then flat, something happens and it all becomes pretty flat. Like nothing is happening all of a sudden. No determination, no nothing. Um, with the hangman, this is stagnation. Big ass stagnation. Temperance, again, a matter of time, a matter of taking things to that place of, let's just see what happens kind of deal, right? And... I feel like the fear of rejection, fear of not making it here, is going to pull you back into this energy of not doing anything about anything. So, let's clarify. Uh, let me clarify the Hierophant. The Four of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. All right, so I'll give you this example, which will uh, take us back into what these cards represent. Um, let's say you really have something you're very passionate about. Something, not someone, right? Um, you love... What do you love? You love doing yoga, right? Um... You love it. You're passionate about it. You talk about it. You can't stop talking about it with friends, with family. Everything, everybody thinks you're crazy of, because of how much you talk about it, right? Uh, but you don't do it. You're like, yeah, I love it. It's like this, like that, and the other. And you don't follow that passion, you know, kind of deal. That's how it's kind of looking here. Like, there's this connection that you're feeling with somebody. It's very powerful, very strong, very everything. And you're not letting go of it. At the same time, you're not really doing anything about it. You know, there's not much action. There is action on your part, but very little. Very, I'll do something about it now. And I'll come back to this in about two years. You know, kind of thing. 
um, which makes the whole situation very deceptive, you know? Again, not sure if that's you or the other person, but whoever this is, is like, oh my god, this feels so great, this feels so good, this feels so... Uh, and they're not doing anything about it. Let me clarify the uh, Four of Wands there in the recent past. <clears throat> Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. All right, so this person may have been younger than you, possibly. Uh, this person was, or still is, possibly, um, growing, healing. They were going through their own process of change, of healing, of learning things in their life, basically. And I don't know if the two of you were, it does look like the two of you had a bond at that time that maybe you were um in this connection together but um regardless they were doing their thing they were learning they were growing they were doing a bunch of things here for themselves right from what i can see that's them um let's see here let me clarify the justice card in the current situation I'm getting a very good vibe from the past there. I usually prefer not to touch the past because what's in the past, it's in the past, we can't change. Unless I see something calling me, but f overall for you, I'm getting a pretty good vibe and it's about your person mostly there. Uh, so for the Justice card, the Death, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, this might be your person out of wanting to participate in anything with you currently or you believing that they don't want to they do look like they don't want to work on anything right now with anyone um there's a sense of unfinished business here with you though also lots of determination is that a woodpecker I think so. Uh, let's see the King of Swords. If not, aliens are invading us or something. I don't know. Who knows? For you, you get the Sun, the Knight of Wands, the Moon. All right, so you're in this place of either discovering or rediscovering that this person is making you happy. Is bringing out the passion in you. Is bringing out some emotions in you that you felt were gone. Like, uh, I'm never going to feel this way. Mm -hmm. You kind of are towards them. Uh, unfortunately, at this time, I don't see them responding to this. But I don't know if you are going with anything to them. Like, presenting this energy to them. Uh, that you're feeling because it's covered by the moon. The moon holds secrets. So yeah, I see here that you feel happiness, you feel passion, you feel a lot of things. But I don't know if you're telling anybody, especially them. You may be thinking that they wouldn't want to have anything to do with you. Because there is that sense on their part. Let me see this Five of Pentacles in reverse. In the current energies. Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, Judgment Card. Somebody needs to decide whether or not they will share their feelings. Uh, I kind of feel like it falls on you here. If this is you that's holding back, that's not holding back, but holding how they feel a secret, I kind of feel like it's your call here. With the Judgment Card, it's like you need to decide. Are you going to share your feelings? Are you going to express your feelings? And I do see kind of like a... a, a that's not a woodpecker. That's like a machinery of some sort. I don't know what that is, but it's... I mean, that's a powerful woodpecker if it is a woodpecker. I don't know. But um, regardless, it's like... You need to decide whether or not to speak up here. And if you do decide here that you want to follow how you feel, I see this decision going in the favor of you expressing how you feel. Uh, again, that's an energy that's here, present. You do have free will. So it's really up to you. 
the decision I see being on your side though. Should I say how I feel? Should I not? Let me clarify the temperance card in the immediate future. The high priestess, the king of wands, the lovers. Ha, ah, there you go. There you are. Um, whenever you listen to your intuition, you know you're in the right place. And the decisions that you make, even though if someone looks from the outside and say they say your decision sucks, you know that as long as you follow how you feel, no, they don't suck. Um, you're aligning with how you feel, with what this connection represents to you. It'll take some time. It's not going to happen tomorrow, unfortunately. But you're reaching that place more and more of getting in tune with your intuition and holding that space for yourself if you want, you know? Um, let me clarify the hangman in the immediate future. The three of wands, the five of cups, the nine of cups. All right, so... Um, the hangman here is that kind of uh, perspective when someone kind of pulls back and tries to look at things from various angles, right? I feel like you standing in here, in this position, you're going through two different energies. One, um, this connection brought me pain or is going to bring me pain based on what happened on the past or this connection just makes me happy so it's a matter of which one you choose now i do see you sitting in this hangman position for quite some time you know thinking about these perspectives and just just taking your time with it and my worry is that if you take too long, you're going to come up with fear uh, surrounding all of these aspects. Like, yeah, I'm going to hurt because I've been hurt. And yeah, I'm going to hurt because you're going to find reasons that you may potentially get hurt. You know, um, if you sit too long in the thinking. And it's ironic because you're just coming into your intuition and then you're kind of like, well, let me just stay here and feel through the, these emotions. And then thought comes to play. And then you're screwed because fear comes into play. Um, yeah. For the Ten of Swords, you get the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the King of Swords. Uh, not good, not very good energy. So uh, if you feel that you're going into that place where the mind takes over, that's your cue to pay attention at what's going on. Because you're going to get yourself into this self-imposed energy self-entrapment pretty much in your you're gonna let your mind take control that's you right here with the king of swords ending the reading and the energies that you're carrying with you if you allow your mind to take over not the greatest so so seek that balance um don't sit too long in the mind space don't allow yourself to do that see what the universe has six of cups the judgment card the three of pentacles all right yeah it's either you're trying to restore some sort of friendship some sort of trust some sort of bond between the two of you it feels like something was broken or you feel like something was broken here in this connection which again it feels very powerful to you and you're confronting you're being confronted here with a decision. The decision, I feel like, is on your side. Um, it's shown up more and more as being you that needs to make up your mind. Do I need to restore the trust here? Or that friendship that we once have had? Or, you know, take it slow, take it easy, take it. Or you're kind of debating about how it should all be in this partnership for now. This is a for now kind of energy. Or whether or not you should express how you truly feel. or That's really up to you. That's really your decision to make. Um, what I would advise, try to stay away from your headspace as much as you can. I do see you knowing how to access your intuition. So stay there and trust me, you'll know what to do from that space. When you're in the mind space. Hmm. So uh, that's what I have for you Aquarius. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.